This is the red flag you're missing that a narcissist is cheating behind your back. Uncovering a narcissist's secret life can be difficult, as they often use manipulation and deceit to conceal their actions. Infidelity is a common trait of narcissists, and they may use tactics such as gaslighting to maintain control and power in the relationship. They may deny, distort, or change any proof of their infidelity in order to make their partners believe they are imagining things or even that they themselves are cheating. If you suspect that your partner is a narcissist and is cheating, it's important to trust your instincts and seek the help of a therapist. A therapist can help you to process your emotions, understand the dynamics of your relationship, and develop strategies for coping with the aftermath of infidelity. So, how can you tell if a narcissist is being unfaithful? There are several signs to look out for. Welcome, everyone. In this video, I will describe six indicators that your narcissist may be cheating on you. If this piques your interest, subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all the latest channel updates and events. First, they are very clear that they do not tolerate dishonesty or any form of fraud. In other words, they are the antithesis of what they proclaim to be. A major theme in their discourse is their abhorrence of liars. The infidelity of their exes is a constant topic of discourse between them. If you portray yourself as the saviour and they as the victim, you will feel compelled to aid them. And then they go on and on about it until you finally decide no. This person is incredibly loyal. There is no way they would do such a heinous crime. They are already planning to use your weakness to their advantage to cheat on you later. This person is supposedly incapable of making such a judgment, so that's what they want you to believe. They aren't interested enough to go in that direction. Religion teaches them something different. That's not who they are, and implying otherwise is an affront to their dignity. They have too high of moral standards to engage in such immoral behavior. In reality, they are training you for the same thing, even if you don't know it yet. After meeting them, you can't go back to your old ways of thinking. Let's say you eventually learn evidence against them. If it happens, they'll vehemently reject it because they know they have to. I stayed with you because I a am not a cheater. To avoid being disliked, I must not be a liar. Where does this road end up taking us? It's not true what you're stating. Either you're making things up, or you're cheating on me and trying to shift the guilt onto me. Second, they frequently abandon plans at the last minute, missing for days, and are difficult to get in touch with. Narcissistic partners are notoriously unfaithful, and their cheating usually manifests as a new romantic interest. In the event that they are not faithful to you, they may hire an escort or be with someone else with whom they engage in sexual activity, attend social events, and behave as though they were their only partner. Such faithfulness does not exist any longer, unfortunately. You are completely irrelevant at this point, and everything is coordinated with them. Narcissists are great to prey on, but dreadful to have around for dinner. They improvise with the tools at hand. They quit caring once it's inconvenient for them. Narcissists are completely indifferent and forget about you. What could happen if this individual found out about my conduct isn't even considered by them? Our best guess is that they were shocked. The thought crossed my mind. What type of hurt could they possibly feel if they realized I was cheating on them? For them, it doesn't matter one bit. They care nothing about it at all. What you're experiencing right now is the here and now, where time has no meaning. They're not interested in you at all. They're just in it for the job, and they enjoy what they do. You won't hear from them for a while because of this, but eventually you'll get a call, or they'll return, and you'll learn that they were in an accident, or that something terrible occurred to them, and they had to end the relationship. 
They twisted their compassion into a weapon of deceit, using it to absolve themselves of wrongdoing while reaping the benefits of others' generosity. Third, they frequently overlook their sexual health and insist they are well. You keep getting STIs and STDs because of their dishonesty. You go to the doctor because you're sick and they give you a diagnosis of STDs. They claim you cheated on them because they were so faithful to you, yet they shift the subject every time you bring it up in conversation. As a result, you end up with an STD, which causes you to doubt your sanity and feel deeply embarrassed. This is because they will try to make you feel bad for cheating on them by bringing up the fact that you have an STI, even though you know in your heart that you aren't. You've prioritized this other person's requirements from the beginning over your own. To your partner, you have always been faithful. You can thank them if you haven't done anything against the rules. But they changed the script and made you think that you were to blame for the problems in the marriage because of your disloyalty. D-A-R-V-O stands for Dini Attack and Reverse Victim and Offender, and you should look into it if you haven't already. Switching roles of perpetrator and victim. They always act in this way. They act similarly to you, then accuse you of doing the same thing. They will accuse you of being at fault while playing the victim card. You are about to hear something totally ridiculous that will make you lose your mind. Where did you go? If you have any relevant experience with this, please feel free to share it in the comments area below. Fourth, they can start acting differently sexually. Maybe the narcissist is craving greater sexual interaction. In contrast, there may be more sexual positions to try out. After all, getting ready for new supplies to arrive is crucial. They can also be completely uninterested in exploring new sexual possibilities. It's possible they'll start withholding data indefinitely. Maybe they want to try out other poses or ramp up their sex life. However, prior to this, there was nothing. After they stopped giving it, they changed their behavior. When that happens, you start to doubt everything. Does this action represent their love for one another? They have accepted their partnership for what it is and realized the significance of paying attention. Or is there something else going on here that I don't know about? They use a ruse with a promise of information to prevent you from looking into the matter further. It's easy to start thinking that things are fine now that they seem to have figured out who you are and have begun bombing you on a regular basis. You feel closer to them and maybe even start to think that their personality has changed because of the pain they went through together with you. In actuality, all you're doing is propelling them to use their newfound sexual prowess on someone else. They need to up the ant in the sex department if they want to win over this person. In order to earn their affection, they aim to be charming and provide them with a thrilling sexual encounter beyond anything they've ever had before. There is no way to miss the point if you take the time to read this. With practice, they eventually learn to suppress their urges and then the inquiries into what had just taken place started. Do I have a blunder here? Was I unusually disruptive? That is to say, what is occurring? What will you anticipate happening if you approach them and attempt to strike up a conversation? It appears that the narcissist has placed the blame on you for this. They claim you've lost your sexual appeal. Kaylee, you've undergone some sort of physical change. This is precisely what has happened. Those issues are why I stopped trying to fix things with you. When, in fact, they are over heels in love with someone else and couldn't care less about you. They objectified you since you served no other purpose in their lives, and now that you no longer serve that purpose, they discard you as expendable. Fifth, they may decide to adjust how they take care of their personal hygiene. They start to exercise more, eat healthier, and generally take better care of themselves so that they look years younger than they are. Grooming and taking pride in one's appearance are both perfectly acceptable activities.
Unfortunately, this leads the narcissist to obsess with their physical appearance, whether that be their size, their hair, or their teeth. They appear obsessed with their appearance, as indicated by their habit of staring at themselves in the mirror continuously. They must be physically flawless, down to the last detail, with flawless hair, weight, lips, a well-lifted face, and zero wrinkles. This makes me think of body dysmorphia, and it's absurd. It's as if someone flipped a switch, and they transformed into this body dysmorphic disorder suffer. Narcissists keep strict diet diaries, counting every gram of fat and gram of protein they take in an effort to impress this one individual. If a person is a somatic or sexual narcissist, they already have this characteristic. In all likelihood, the only reason they're going to such extremes is to win over a romantic interest. Another problem is that they think they are still in their early 20s, which is both hilarious and ridiculous. They don't act their age and look like they're in their 20s, but they're actually in their 40s. This is bizarre, weird, and not appropriate for the sake of humor. One cannot, for instance, be in one's 20s if one appears to be in one's 40s. Because doing so would mean admitting their declining physical and mental abilities and lack of charisma, they stubbornly refuse to embrace life and the aging process. Narcissists, for some reason, fool themselves into believing they are much younger than they actually are. But no matter how hard they try, nothing ever comes of it. No amount of plastic surgery, facelifts, or other extreme treatments can change the pattern. Can you attest to having felt this way? Did your narcissistic significant other act in this way? Would you say that you are one of these people? If that's the case, please elaborate on your thoughts here. 6. They say their ex-spouses are spreading false rumors of cheating out of jealousy. They have no chance of refuting your accusations when you have them in your sights with irrefutable evidence. That's an undeniable truth that they have no way of denying. However, they twist it again. The narcissist might respond, well, it was my ex. My crazy ex-boyfriend just wouldn't stop bothering me. Even more so, she has retouched these photographs, whereas I haven't. I've never dated somebody like this before. To me, it's incomprehensible. Actually, they just made it up. They start crying in an attempt to gain sympathy and begin the victimization cycle. By declaring, I A am a terrible person, nobody likes me, and everyone is out to get me into trouble. I can't get out of here, there's no escape. I have no idea how to escape, or where to go. They engage in unreasonable behavior because they are trying to avoid facing the repercussions of their conduct. One who is easily duped may fall for the trick more than once. You could have been duped at first, but you'll eventually see through the lie. You undoubtedly have thought, well, maybe they didn't do anything as I have. Maybe their ex is making up all of these claims and plots against them. Maybe they're not as bad as they seem at first glance. Alternatively, it could be made up. Thus, you resort to gaslighting yourself as a form of self-revenge for the gaslighting you experienced at the hands of the other party. Narcissists might trick you into thinking these stories are made up and questioning your own sanity. Because narcissists believe that everyone is out to get them, this is more hate speech from the haters. Narcissists believe everyone they meet is out to get them, yet in truth, it is they who are the malicious ones. These are the clearest indications that a narcissist is cheating on you. How to recognize a disloyal narcissist and the tactics they deploy. Please let me know whether you found this episode engaging or not. Hello everyone, thanks you for watching this video. I hope all of you can understand all the explanation in this video. And I hope it can be useful for your life. Thank you and see you again in my next video. Okay, bye bye.